You already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, scary TikToks. You up to bat. Bah. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. The kids to be free in 2023. The kids to be free in 2023. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. We back with another reaction. Another scary TikTok compilation, man. So, if you with me, I need you to drop with you in the comments, man. Shout out to all my real ones out there. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. In this scary video, a couple of kids are playing and having fun until this shocking event happens. Watch okay. this. What? What the f Some just jacked the person up like that? Coming up in this video. Knock knock. Who's there? Sound like you chills. Don't want to know? These are thirty scary videos caught on doorbell cameras. Number thirty. What? Fire erupts when a fire erupted at a home in Mesa, Arizona. These neighbors were on it. This footage shows the heroes racing to the homeowner's front door to warn them. Damn, the house on fire. <laughs> they wait for an answer, and finally one comes through the ring doorbell. Can I help you? Your, the house is on fire! Your house is almost on fire! Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. The homeowner gets one of her children out and goes back in for another. They say your house is almost on fire. Can you help me? Yeah, come on. Can you help me? Come on. Can you help me? Come on. Come on. What the hell? After getting the child to safety, the neighbor races back to help further. Okay. Again, he returns, but it looks like the house has been evacuated. He a good Samaritan. He a good Samaritan. The fire consumes the home before the firefighters get to work. Damn. Sheesh. But thanks to their caring neighbors, this family made it out of the home alive. To me, this is the perfect example of what a neighbor should be. Number 29. Absolutely. Bobcat encounter. This seven-year-old girl spotted a bobcat on her Arizona street. Understandably frightened, she runs to a nearby house and rings the doorbell. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. It's heartbreaking to hear how scared she is, and sadly nobody is home here. But the wow. residents talk to her remotely via the doorbell oh, camera. Oh snap! We'll be home in one minute, sweetie. Just stay right there. Everyone, come up today. I take my mom at home, and I saw it. It's fine. Just stay there, okay? We're literally turning the corner. Okay. Oh, hang up. Stay on the phone. Okay. The home wow. is right around the corner, and they rush back to get this girl to safety. Get you in my house safe. I will call your mom. Jeez. A bobcat? Oh, man. Fortunately, they made it back in time and she was safe from the bobcat. Number 28. Thank Relax. God. Relax. Damn, that's it? I thought it was a top. A third. grandma has caught something quite terrifying in her granddaughter's room. Tori McKenzie is begging for help online after capturing what she describes as a demon standing over her grandchild's bed. What? Ms McKenzie set up a motion-activated camera at her son's house after complaints his two-year-old daughter Amber was talking to something unseen in the middle of the night. The grandma checked her camera's app days later to find a bone-chilling image of a figure standing very close to her sleeping grandchildren what? with what she described as it having a horn on its head and long claws. What? The creature is captured standing awkwardly, looking upwards just before 3am. 
Miss McKenzie says when she tried to rid the house of the evil presence by burning oils, she claimed cabinets and curtains opened and closed mm. and music began to play by itself. The grandmother insists the discovery has left her fearing for her grandchildren's lives and that the photo is real and could not be photoshopped because she does not have the technical know-how to change the image. Mm. I would like to see a video of that one, for sure. You got to show me a video of that one. Trace Essler, better known as Lens Cap Productions or Mr. Anime, was an anime and film enthusiast who once reviewed anime on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Well, today I'm reviewing Maple Story. Let's get right to the Maple Story. There's the a legendary the tree that lives on Maple Island. Well, it used to live there. It was destroyed a long, long time ago. Back in 2006, Trey was known for basically kickstarting the YouTube anime community with his reviews. Mm. He helped inspire some of the biggest names in the anime community and was generally considered to be a very well-known personality on the internet. Okay. Somewhere along the way, Trey's videos transitioned from being about normal things like anime, video games, and even talking about guns, to videos about serial killers, killing animals, and using real guns. What? In February 2012, he announced that he was taking a break for two to three weeks to reward himself for his work. Okay. This is just an update video to let you guys know that uh, I'm going to reward myself with a, probably a two or three week break coming up here from YouTube videos, uh, anime reviews in particular. I okay. might do some blog stuff. Um, I want to thank you guys a lot for sticking with me and watching the channel. Uh, I got more subscribers than ever. I have more views than ever, and uh, everything is going. On March 20th, 2012, Trey took the lives of his mother, father, and older brother, Mark. What? After committing the acts, he wrote on the walls, why did I do this? I love my mom, dad, and brother. Trey's fascination with guns was seen early on, but nobody could have ever suspected he would commit the heinous acts he did. Friends even described- Bro, what? He took out his whole family. What? Described him as a highly intelligent and kind-hearted guy. Interrogations found that he had actually done what he did to his family to spare them from knowing that he planned to target Waller Junior High School, with his goal being to have at least 70 victims. 70? Um, I would protect him with my life. Um, at the same time, if anyone was going to hurt them, it was going to be me. Or they were the first immediate human targets in my sight. Hell if I was no. going to go out and do anything, they would have to go. And I'm like, there's my opportunity. Go ahead, go get him. A close friend of Trey. Bro, what is wrong with Buddy? No way. No way, man. It's Tyler Adams claimed that Trey's mind had gone astray over the years, and the only true sign of his decline was that his videos and movies would get more and more violent as time passed. Mm. Once he was arrested, Trey was sentenced to life in prison. In late 2020, his channel was terminated. Mm. This footage submitted by Jason. Something happens that if it weren't caught on dashcam, you wouldn't believe it. It was around 1 in the morning. Jason was on his way to what he thought was going to be the house of a woman he matched with on a dating app. Okay. The person had given Jason their address over the app. They had not exchanged numbers. After putting the address into his phone, he realized that not only was the address 20 minutes away, it was also in a less desirable side of town. Mm. Against his better judgment, he got in his car anyway to head to the given address, which was in a cul-de-sac. After entering the cul-de-sac, he realized all three houses had all of their lights out. And when he tried to message the girl he matched on the dating app, she would no longer answer. After waiting a few minutes for an answer, he realized the person had unmatched him, meaning it may have been a trick or prank, and so he turned the car around. As he was leaving the cul-de-sac, he noticed someone on the sidewalk stepping out into the street, and so he locks his doors and slows down. Slow this down. This is the footage captured on the dash cam. Nigga, you better punch the gas. Slow down. Hold on. Oh! The footage is kind of grainy, so it's hard to make out some of the smaller details. But basically what happened what, he pulled was out Jason a slowed down as he saw a masked person walking into the middle of the street, immediately knowing something was off because there was nothing across the street except a busy highway. Mm. So he locks his door and comes to a stop as the person is directly in front of his car. To a stop? And the masked person reaches into his pocket grabs a handgun that's a little hard 
shit. To see in the video due to lighting, and starts running towards his driver's side door. Jason immediately steps on the gas and drives past the man, who then tries to open the door, which thankfully was locked Whoa, mere seconds earlier. he tried to earlier. open the door? It's hard to see unless you pause and zoom in, but the man in the video was wearing a creepy smiling mask. Damn. The man didn't fire any rounds, but that's also under the assumption that the gun was even loaded or real. Right. It's not that uncommon to hear about people using fake guns in scenarios like this. What was strange about this was while even though it was in a less desirable end of town, it was still a very residential block right next to a highway, so it was a slightly questionable place to pull this. However, it doesn't take a detective to put the pieces together that this was a setup through the dating app to lure some unsuspecting guy to a dead-end road in order to rob him at gunpoint, mm. or worse. According to Jason, the spot in which the man stepped into the street was out of view of any houses as it ran alongside wow. a long fence and bushes. Jason reported the whole incident to the police, including the given address. Jason was accompanied with a police officer to knock on the door of the address in question the next day, and an older woman who claimed to live alone answered the door. She claimed she had nothing to do with it, and that's obviously pretty likely to be the truth, meaning a random person simply chose that address because the street was low-key and hidden, debatably a perfect spot to try and set somebody up. Damn. Luckily, Jason didn't decide to stay put and got away without harm, because who knows what could have happened. Two girls are alone. Y'all horny motherfuckers better be careful out there. Y'all better be careful out there. That shit crazy. Alone in their house when one of them sees something in the doorway. Pause the video and you can see it's clearly the upper half of a young girl who is dressed in old-fashioned clothes from another time period. What? She's floating in midair as she curiously peeks in on the two children to see what they are doing. One of the girls still doesn't see the ghost. She shouts at something that's on television and accidentally startles the ghost away. The girl startles with the camera the follows the ghost as it retreats. The ghost what? instantly teleports and now stares at them from the top of the what? steps. The scared girls run out of the house screaming. They stop only for a second to turn around from the street. They can see the ghost girl walking across the left window on the top floor. It vanishes and then suddenly appears on the bottom floor in less than a second. They scream even louder and take off again. Number 2. Stay out of what? the attic. Back in 2008, a man started to notice some strange activities around his house. He would often come home from work to find his dogs cowering under the bed, too afraid to come out. One of his dogs what? would only come out from under the bed for a brief 10 seconds at most before going straight back into hiding. Wow. Something was intimidating these large dogs badly. I told you, messing with animals and babies, bro. They different when it come to ghosts and stuff like that, bro. The owner starts to hear banging noises coming from all over his house. He begins to look around. He eventually traces the noise to his attic and goes upstairs with a camera for a closer look. Everything is completely trashed. Boxes are overturned and clothing is scattered everywhere. Something has violently flung all of his personal possessions all around. Wow. As soon as he goes back downstairs, he hears another huge bang and runs right back up the steps. He puts the camera down and searches the empty attic for clues. A nearby metal bucket falls over and he runs out of the room before he gets hurt. Another object hits oh. the ground on its own and the camera moves to the right on its own too. The homeowner was too scared to look at the footage. He waited a what? Before going back upstairs to get his camera. By now, what? he is understandably quite paranoid. He, he begins recording wait. everything he does in his home, and it isn't long before he has more paranormal evidence. One day, his radio turns to static and a spirit orb rushes out the window. Later, someone violently jiggles Whoa. the doorknob to the door that leads to the attic. The door opens and shuts by itself. The Hell radio goes nah. back to normal soon after. Things look to be going back to normal for a second, but then a paper towel roll suddenly flies up from the table to the couch, and the radio starts making more sounds again. What? The video recording starts to get fuzzy too, as if a ghost is causing electrical disturbances by passing by. Both of his dogs begin to look in the same spot as if they are following something. Hell Whatever it was, no. the man was never able to physically catch it on film. He was Hell only able to record no. its strange and oftentimes violent behaviors. Number 1. Ghoul School this footage comes from somewhere in the Middle East. A group of teenagers are curiously exploring an old school. They go up a flight of steps and pause when they hear a dog whining on the other side of the door. They all run down the steps and gather at the bottom. They're afraid of being attacked by a group of stray dogs now, but they decide to press on and explore the lower areas. The group finds bravery in their numbers and begins to joke and laugh again as they make their way down a Hell long hallway. Nah. They open a door and find graffiti on the wall. Other people had been here before them. Maybe this place isn't so bad after all. The teens grow a little more nervous as they continue to poke around. They are laughing less and starting to go silent. Something just isn't right about this section of the building. A YouTuber named Zobin Jaguar translated their comments. 
He says at this point one of the teens say that their phone shut itself off even though it was fully charged only a moment ago. Wow. Another person was able to keep recording, though they probably now wish they hadn't. Wow. They enter one classroom in particular and get a dreadful feeling. Suddenly a figure actually appears out of thin air and walks towards them. The ghost is missing his head, but there's somehow no blood. A loud chanting begins as soon as the ghost walks towards them. But this may be prayers from a nearby mosque. Amazingly, the group all appears to have missed the ghost, Hell, which explains why they it. calmly continue to keep exploring. They wouldn't see the apparition until- How you don't see that walking towards you in the broad daylight? How do you just not see that? That's crazy. Much later. But when they did, they would never forget what was heading straight towards them in that room. Mm -mm. Finally caught on camera. <laughs> it's bed round too. So Adrian's just been trying to turn this lamp off. Yeah. <laughs> he turned it off, it clicked. The light stayed on. We've just settled for bed. And the lights just decided to it's turn back flicked. on. It's actually the other way. Wow. They think this shit funny. <laughs> they think this shit. We need to get some cameras or something sorted, <laughs> like, desperately. <laughs> that shit, dude. Ain't no way I'll be laughing at that shit. Right, I don't really have night mode, so I don't know how this is gonna go. We shall see if it turns back on like it just has. He look like he shook at the light. Super quiet. Super quiet. That's what you think. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I'm standing there. No way. Whoa. I love you. Good night. Good the hell? I'm back here. Ya, dia memang memang tahu kan dia memang seperti dikucilkan oleh teman-teman. Karena dia dia punya kekurangan. Dia dia tidak bisa What? berbicara. Hell nah. Caught on my outdoor camera at 4:30. the fuck somebody playing or something I haven't even had this camera set up a day and already caught paranormal activity what's watch the mirror. the mirror what's going on with the mirror I hate this creepy AF haunted spooky ghoul infested house. A shadow? The baby was chilling. Tell me what that is. A UFO? We caught the most insane paranormal evidence ever. Try to explain this. Be back the fuck up. Cause y'all ain't about to get me, catch me slipping out here. Oh, oh, the fuck? Oh 
shit. I guess I missed that one. All right, that was scary TikToks, man. Hey, some of them was kind of creepy. What's up with the YouTuber? What made him lose his mind like that and just... Jesus, he killed his mom, he killed his daddy, he killed his brother. Then he was talking about going to the school and killing like... What happened? Bro, this stuff is definitely creepy, man. If y'all know any TikTok accounts out there that got a lot of scary videos or paranormal videos, send them to me under the video or on my Instagram, man. Make sure y'all take care of y'all Stay off them apps. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire squad, I got you when you know it. Hey.